I'm Jings and Things, and I'm a lifter. I'm a lifter because I lift weights. Friends of mine have linked me to a YouTuber, Haters Incorporated. The reason they felt like I would be interested in insulting him is because he's an overweight guy that has trouble being consistent in exercising. He'll post a video every other week or so stating he's back to exercising. I can tell why this is infuriating. It's blatant attention seeking. He wants his cake, and then more cake, and then more cake. To a worse extent, it's kind of like having an alcoholic relative. He'll make an announcement of not drinking, and then the family will get excited. Then a few days later, he's drinking again, and it makes the family sad. Then he'll do the announcement again. The cycle continues. Only the family will stop getting excited about the announcement. Instead, they'll start to actually get annoyed about it, and then get some weird spite enjoyment out of the alcoholic going back on the wagon. To my knowledge, Haters Incorporated isn't an alcoholic, nor is he my relative. My first reaction was empathy to his shitty videos. It really sucks for people and their egos when they admit that they're flawed. Then they make a prolific statement full of sweet nothings about how they're going to go about remedying it, just for them to never solve it. So they fail twice. I mean, they fail a lot. <laughs> but twice for right now. When they admitted that they were failing in the first place, and when they failed to keep up their promises. That's why I hate inspirational quotes. Look at any single mother's Facebook and you'll know what I'm talking about. They're all statements that sound like something, but aren't. There are things that people can say they're applying without any proof. There aren't any tests out there to see if they are. They post these empty statements. These statements are usually in the form of advice. Since they're the ones posting it, they're positioning themselves like they understood and they're well learned. And now they're the teacher. Teacher of nothing, peddler of junk advice. God forbid I have another fucking wine box junkie glug glug fucking Britney Bridget bitch fucking telling me to fucking haters are gonna hate. Hope she fucking dies in a car fire. Me telling someone to buy a pull up bar is a million times better advice than insults are like birds. You can allow them to make a nest or run them off or something like that. Self betterment content is plentiful, but actual transformations are rare. That's why they still get reactions. If a pat. If a fat person turning skinny was achievable, then no one would care, and there wouldn't be a crazy trillion dollar industry built around it. That's why walking, you know, there's like zero money in that market, except for like the really niche people where they're like, oh, dorsiflexion or, or heel toe, whatever the F. Generally, yeah, people aren't going to be uh, putting a dollar into the process of walking. I'm okay with Haters Incorporated making a I'm transforming my body week one type video every other week. Actually that would be a funny gimmick. But as a lifter, the hey I'm exercising videos are lackluster. You can't just keep making 5-10 to 10 minute videos where the only thing you're saying is hey I'm going to start generally exercising and you're just super vague about everything so we can only take from it that you're starting to generally exercise. I do diary-esque videos myself. I upload footage of me lifting and talk out loud about my program, the process, the progress, if any, etc. And I go back and watch those videos from time to time to reflect on what went on, seeing if there were any changes in my form, uh, you know, just the thought process, etc. So if the videos suck and I get zero attention, at the very least, it's a device for me. So yeah, here's some fucking gay advice. Embrace being a lifter, become a student again, and fall in love with lifting again. You know, because I have a friend named Hipstar, and, you know, he's like a few years into lifting, and he, he, you know, it just sucks. You know, as a lifter, we have to be students. You know, it, it's, it's a really dog shit approach where people are just like, okay, cool, I'm just going to start. Uh, you know, no, nah, I'm lifting. Yeah, here's the curl, here's the, you know, leg press, whatever the F, you know. And then Haters Incorporated made us some weird comment about like, oh yeah, I don't upload uh, lifting footage because people are like, oh, you doing that wrong, or you standing weird, or you're not gripping it right. Well, it's like, if you have such a fucking problem with people, uh, you know, criticizing your shit, then you should fucking look into it. Like, for example, like if someone was saying you were standing weird in the shoulder press or something, then look up. And and, and 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 you're like and that bothers you then there must be then you must be like like if you can't be concrete in what you're doing and you don't have any reason to it and, and someone can harass you about it 
then that means you yourself are not sure. So start being fucking sure and study that motherfucker. Study the shoulder press. Study, you know, and, and, and then um, if, if you see something or hear something, then apply it and then try it out for, a, you know, a cycle or whatever. And then that's how we learn. That's how we do shit. Like, you know, so it, when someone says, oh, you stand weird like that, it's like, well, I stand like this because and then that's it. And then honestly, you wouldn't even have to respond to it. You wouldn't even give a fuck, you know? Haters Incorporated is fat. Fine. I wish I wasn't so insecure so I could have stayed 230 pounds, but still went and lifted and tried not eating like total garbage. Maybe just start with lifting 36 times a week consistently for a few months. If we can do that, then we built the ability to have a regiment. That's a skill. And then we can apply that skill to dieting if you just super duper want to not be fat. Until then, you're just another emasculated man with a world view of a daft soccer mom making half-ass attempts for attention on the world wide web. Faggot. <laughs>